What makes Super World super? This is a, a question that I wanted to answer in this podcast. Very important for me to answer this because I've been following this project for a very long time. And it's a project I believe in 100%. I love the team. CEO Rish Lotlika is amazing at what he does. He has a lot of experience in the space as well as other spaces. And one of the things that drew me to this project, and in my opinion, what makes Superworld super, is the fact that Rish has the foresight of wanting to build a better world globally. That right there, that plan, in my opinion, is one of the biggest plans you can have to want to build a better world globally. If you look at the way the world is right now, people are so caught up in their devices. People are caring about likes and comments and views. People are forgetting who they really are. And technology, as well as it's really good for enhancing our ability to learn, our ability to communicate and everything, it also makes a lot of people very anxious because they get caught up in this digital world and they can't switch off. When you're unable to switch off, it can affect you. Now, the fact that Rish is and, and Superworld as a whole are, is here to build a better world is an amazing fate. I love it. I believe in it. Stand by it. And um, if anybody says they want to build a better world, I always wonder, how are you going to do that? How can you build a better world? With technology, <clears throat> build the actual real world with technology. How you would do that would be to build a project that is based on the real world with the ability to have digital elements, real world elements, okay, and mixed world elements. So, real world, virtual world, and mixed realities. This combination means that you're going to have a project that stands the test of time because it has real world uh, importance, real world importance. People need to have the ability to enhance their real world with technology, not replace their real world with technology. There's a difference. And I think that's what uh, tech has taught me recently that we don't want to replace our lives with tech. We want it to be part, but we don't want it to replace it. We want it to make our real lives better. Okay. Now, with regards to Superworld and the projects that I, I've seen recently with regards to building a better world, especially um, uh, one of the projects in Brazil, another one in Nigeria for social injustice. And um, another one uh, in, in Brazil. And there was another one where there was the indig indigenous uh, um, community of, I think it was Native uh, Americans, who um, of two different tribes that were battling for many years, that they literally, uh, um, you know, joined forces with regards to an NFT uh, um, um, collection. And these types of things, in my opinion, showcase what is possible when you use tech and want to better the real world <clears throat> now recently there's been a strategic partnership with tokens.com um and that that is through uh, metaverse group uh, which is a public publicly um traded company i mean tokens.com is a publicly traded company and metaverse is partner is a subsidiary of uh, tokens.com and they see, they see the power of this. And they are investing up to $1 million in Superworld, buying virtual real estate on the platform. That virtual real estate will be used to build experiences, I'm sure, be used to, you know, Im improve the real world of people. I'm pretty sure that's why it's going to be used. You know, and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with that. Okay, 
all of these are clues as to you know where this company is going now to build a, a better world we're looking at ai vr ar all of those different technologies mixed together not talking about one or the other we're talking about all of them and how can we use these to better the real world that is the that is the biggest question and use cases are happening every day and i'm loving it i'm loving it there's now going to be an ar exhibit from the storied brazilian sports club vasco da gama and they've got like 24 million supporters and that's a real football um stadium and football club if you're in america you, you call it soccer in the uk we call it football there are there's just many things going on okay and many projects out there focus on the hype focus on getting things um people to it uh and they don't have that i want to build a better world type of mantra and there's nothing wrong with them i just think that there's space for real change from technology and i think that you know companies like superworld when connected with other enterprises can also help them to build a better world so it's just like it's like a domino effect we want different brands different a areas niches sectors to build a better world why not join forces and try to build a better world together in this podcast i'm not talking about um i'm not talking about the technology of how to buy real estate on superworld i'm talking about the nitty-gritty why is superworld super because we are tapping into real people's lives how can we better your life with this technology how can we do it in a decentralized way without owning it we don't own what you want to do in your real world so in whichever world you want to be in how can we better your world how can we increase your uh, ability to work your ability to enjoy yourself your, your ability to learn how do we improve that and build a better world where people can learn earn build collaborate you know discover and that's what really really drives me towards uh, um what is happening with superworld i'm a big supporter of it uh, uh, and and i really do believe that with that mantra with those words build a better world we're definitely going to continue to grow because when you say these things and you speak them out they'll become reality anyways i just like talking about these things i think it's amazing this project is doing amazing things and i'm i'm glad to be able to see it grow and uh hopefully to help it grow further thanks for listening please like subscribe click on the bell icon to be reminded of new videos on my youtube if you're watching it there from my linkedin please um like comment share um and um yeah i'll catch you in the next podcast and hopefully you don't get tired of my voice take care